Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a Zara haul and I'm so excited because apparently you guys are excited about Zara hauls. I put up a poll on my Instagram um, a little while ago, a few weeks ago, and just said which stores are you most interested in at the moment and Zara actually came out on top. So I popped in there and was just like, wow, this is autumnal heaven right now. So I picked up a few bits. I think I have about six or seven pieces and I'm going to run through them as quickly as possible because I feel very deeply strongly for some of these pieces and I feel like I'm going to ramble forever so without further ado let's get cracking. First piece that I'm going to start with is this dress that I'm wearing. I can see in my viewfinder that it looks a little bit dark on camera. Basically the lighting is kind of taking the piss out of me today so it keeps changing all the time so I've had to darken it to make my face look a normal colour and I feel like this looks reasonably dark on camera but this is a really really beautiful khaki shade. Um, it's so soft, the material is beautiful, it's cottony but quite um, I want to say satin, it's not satin, almost like a velvety smooth cotton, just feels so so comfortable. Um, it buttons all the way down, I'll show you in a little cutaway um, how it looks on, and then it does up with, are you ready for the worst worst demonstration ever, um, this little tie here, don't know if you can see that, probably not, I've just done this really bizarre shoving my crotch in your face action, but never mind. It is mildly on the shorter side, I'm five foot eight and yeah, it's not a long dress. I wouldn't say it's a, in fact, I would say it was more of a mini dress. Um, I personally see myself wearing these with over the knee boots. And when I wear over the knee boots, I prefer my dresses or my skirts to be a bit shorter so that you can see a bit of a, a bit more of a gap in between both. Um, so I personally love it. And <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, then you will know that I am not afraid to wear some pretty short stuff. I absolutely love this. This is perfect for autumn just super cozy and perfect for this kind of weather as well because I could go out in this and not need a jacket and just be totally fine so I'm super excited to wear it and they also had it in a navy colour um, which I did really want but I just felt like I couldn't justify both because that would just be silly. Would it be silly? I don't know if it would. Comment below if you think it would be silly or not and if I should go back immediately and buy another one but um, I did really like it but this absolutely was my preference and I also thought that it would look quite cool with this piece which I got which is just a basic Baker Boy hat. I have quite a few from Zara. If you've been an old time subscriber of me maybe like nearly a year ago now I had a grey tartany or like grey check version of this and I had to rebuy it because um, I actually like it blew off and then I was trying to chase it down the street and I couldn't find this hat, I couldn't chase after it anyway. Um, so I picked this one up, this is 15 99 which is actually reasonably expensive for a hat, however this is one of the only, Zara is one of the only places that I've found that actually has sizes for hats. So I picked up a small because despite having thought that I have a huge head, <laughs> apparently I don't. A small is actually quite big on me, but I really, really like it. I'm going to put it on and it's going to look ridiculous because I don't have a mirror and I can't really see what it looks like. So I'm just going to like fiddle about with it until hopefully it looks no that's not looking right well hopefully it looks semi-normal i can't see so it probably doesn't but obviously you can play around with it and i just think they're super cool i think they look nicer from the side which obviously is not ideal because you're not going to walk around just like saying hi to people from the side are you <laughs> oh help me um but i not only have the messiest hair of all time now but i really love this i love the color it's perfect for this time of year i think they're just perfect for when you've got like a messy hair day which is me every single day <laughs> no seriously every single day whether you've got greasy hair again me every single day no you're sexy or if you're in a bit of a rush or if you just need to tie a bit of a boring outfit together i think this is absolutely perfect so i love this and then i picked up this top which is so beautiful it's really beautiful i mean it looks quite basic and literally beige but i think it's beautiful so i picked up this top I actually have one similar to this from Zara last year. It doesn't have this rib pattern. If I can find a picture, I'll pop it in over the top. Um, from memory, I wore it with a black Baker Boy hat, also from Zara. Um, but yes, I picked this up. This was also in grey, and they had it in a really gorgeous mustard colour as well. I think it was only £10. Yeah, 9.99 and honestly the material is stunning. It's so soft and cosy. It's actually quite thick as well. So these tops are quite strange because I never really know like what's the perfect weather for them because they're more jumper material so you would want it to be a bit cooler however they're short sleeves so this is confusing for me. It doesn't take much. 
love this so much it's so cozy it looks amazing tucked into high-waisted jeans um, and even just some trainers or some boots and I'm so excited to wear this all through the autumn and I feel like I'm definitely going to go back and get the grey as well because these kind of basics from Zara the quality is just incredible and I think the value for money is amazing as well on to possibly one of my favorite pieces from the haul but then again I say this for every single piece that I pick up this dress oh was. This dress is, well it looks messy the way that I've held it up because as always I've completely butchered the demonstration. This is a snake skin sort of croc skin. I never really can tell the difference between them both. Is that just me? Possibly. Um, but this is kind of that really gorgeous snake skin um, print and the material is actually quite thin but it's a really 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 soft cotton it was 39.99 and it's actually quite long so I would say it sort of sits between a maxi and a midi maybe more towards the maxi and I'm quite tall as well so I think on most people this would sit more maxi on you um, but this has buttons all the way down which I love because you can kind of choose how you wear it so I would wear it um, with some quite a few buttons undone <laughs> my mum is behind the camera and I just saw these eyes roll so high that they hit the ceiling yes I do like to wear <laughs> reasonably low cut things <laughs> And then I would also have the buttons undone quite high up because I think that it looks quite nice um, with legs poking through. And I just think it's one of those really gorgeous pieces that you can sort of wear, I was going to say so many different ways, you literally just button and unbutton the dress. Um, but I think you can wear it kind of more conservative, just doing up the buttons more. Or I think with a really amazing pair of heels and the buttons open for all to see and lots and lots of leg I think it could be really beautiful for a night out as well so I absolutely love this and I know that I'm going to be wearing it all the time so if you follow me on Instagram prepare to see it 24 7. I also think that these could uh, go quite nicely together so there's that little nugget of useless information for you. Next up I have been looking for a pair of tartan-ish trousers for a while and what I mean is I do really like tartan, more in um, like a check shirt format or maybe a skirt. Um, I saw a pair on Victoria from In The Fro, I think that they were far more expensive than these Zara ones that I've got. Um, and I have been wanting to recreate that look ever since. So I actually went into Zara and just spotted these on the side. I was looking for, they have, and I, annoyingly I couldn't find them, they have um, this print in some jeans and I really really wanted them but couldn't see them anywhere in this huge Zara as well which is such a shame. Um, I would definitely be going back to find them. Kind of a tartan trouser. Well they're not kind of, they are a tartan trouser. Um, I really really like these. The only thing that I would say is I am a size 10, just a kind of bog standard size 10. Most 10s in most stores fit me. Um, if anything I'm more between an 8 and a 10 but much more on the 10 side. Um, Zara trousers don't fit my legs amazingly. Maybe I just have bizarre shaped legs. Um, the waist is always a bit big and the very tops of my thighs are always a bit tight and I don't really feel like I'm necessarily bigger in any area. Um, so these don't fit the best but with a little belt I'm gonna try and find um, a chain belt because I've seen one on a few Instagrammers and I really really want it because I think that it's just such an amazing accessory or just the thin black one as well I think I could definitely get away with wearing them but annoyingly um, the fit isn't amazing which is such a shame because I love the print and I love the colour and they're actually really thick and beautifully made as well uh, but yeah I just I'm so used to wearing high-waisted jeans and trousers that because these sit a bit lower they are a little bit bigger for me which is a shame but I do love them and I'm sure I'll make them work slash deal with the annoying baggy rise of the waist because I like them and finally oh god guys I feel like I've whizzed through this haul this is so refreshing I usually take about 10 minutes to describe each thing oh, this is so beautiful this is a midi skirt with a slit down the side it's quite it's stretchy so it's quite bodycon but because it's stretchy I honestly think that this size so I got a small um they didn't have an extra small I don't think or I couldn't find one I actually wish if they did have one I would have got that um and as I said I'm a size 10 so it's not that I'm super super small but 
this fits me nicely the waist is a tiny bit big but I feel like because it is so stretchy um, you could definitely like you want it to be a little bit more bodycon so you could definitely size down with this one but it is so comfortable and it's so thick and it's so warm and I just think the slit makes it like a little bit sexier as well. I think this would be perfect with a jumper over the top or even a t-shirt over the top. I like to wear my skirts and then have something like high-waisted but I think over the top this would just kind of blend in and look really beautiful. I tried it on, you definitely need um, like a very thin thong or like invisible underwear because because it is bodycon you do kind of see every outline and I'm not gonna lie guys Personally, I'm just checking that I haven't got lipstick on my teeth. I'm not going to lie, guys. I had the most disgusting Bridget Jones black knickers on. And you could see my VPL like that. It was awful. And you could see the colour as well. So I do think definitely try them on or make sure that you've got like more see-through, not see-through, more nude and invisible underwear before you actually put this on and wear it out because you will definitely be able to notice it. But I think if you can make it work, it is such a gorgeous piece. And I know that I will wear this so much with a nice oversized roll neck jumper and maybe some Converse, like some flat Converse or flat trainers. Or I think it would look really good with boots as well. So I love this and it was 25 99 I think that they might have had it in one other color, but I can't quite remember, so don't quote me on that. But if they do, then I feel like I definitely want to go and pick it up because this is beautiful and it's basically all I want to wear from now apart from you know every other thing that I've bought today and that is the end of my haul guys I really really hope you enjoyed it it was kind of short but sweet although there was six pieces in here and I feel like every single one sometimes I go into Zara and I'll see lots of basics and I'll just pick up a kind of random mixture of everything but I feel like every piece in this haul will really have a place in my wardrobe and is kind of a bit of a statement piece in itself so I really hope you liked the video I'll link everything up below if you did please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and as always if there's anything that you want to see then please do just let me know because I love hearing your thoughts and I don't want to make loads of videos that you're like I couldn't give a crap what you're talking about so if you have any requests always let me know because I love to hear but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!